Hey everybody, Five Facts. Hey, hi, what's Michael? up, Gavin? It's Michael and Gavin. You said hi Ella. before I said hello. Uh, I'm just saying you said it first. I'm sorry. Yeah, and that's okay. This is fi uh, Five Facts in you Mass Effect that. 3. Yeah. You want to read some facts? No, talk about Mass Effect 3, Gavin. You're Love playing it, it right Good now. Good game, playing on Insanity yeah. right now. I thought I was getting near the end. Check my progress. Mission 8 of 26. No near Ooh, the end. That's uh, uh, not so near the end. Some laughter from Jeff. Yeah. I uh, haven't played Mass Effect 3. I played the first one, wasn't a big fan. Didn't like the combat I... system. Second one, fucking loved it. Played the shit out of that game yeah. and put many hours into it. The second one was toppy tip. I loved all the mining for like Element Zero and stuff. Yeah. It's but addictive, one, the first game. And this one kind of has the scanning of planets, but not really. It's kind of Do you lazy. get to drive the little uh, rover around and shit? No. Oh. Are you but sad you get about to drive that? drive a little uh, tiny little ship around the galaxy like... You have indicated the ship is about the size of a peanut. Well, it is I when guess. it's on the screen. It's bloody tiny. You can drive through the sun as well. Let's read some facts, Michael. All right, read some facts, Go. Kevin. All right, fact number one. In order to improve the story of Mass Effect 3, the writers created a small three to four page document with every major plot point in the game. They then began to fill in minor details, followed by the head writers assigning specific missions and levels to specific writers on the team. <laughs> Those guys. That wasn't that, that was, funny, Jeff. That was Jeff. <laughs> no. Jeff Ramsey. Difference, oh. difference this week, Gavin. Yeah. We're at uh we're at Jack's desk recording this. Yeah. He made the font all big and shit so I can read it. Oh, because you couldn't read it last time. I couldn't week. read it when we did it uh on Jeff's computer, the yeah. Assassin's Creed 2, where it sounds like I'm illiterate. Ye. Yeah. Fact number two. Fact two In an effort to increase the audio quality of the weapons in the game, Bioware's audio team was in discussion with other EA studios such as DICE to redesign their combat soundscape. DICE makes fucking shooty games, right? What do they make? What do they make, Jack? Did, I was gonna say Battlefield, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I think and, uh, Jeff is actually an honorary DICE employee, just for that sound effect. There's a gun in Mass Effect where it's like... Which gun is that? Oh, all of them. Pew, uh, pew. Is there uh, like future, future laser weapon sounds? Nah, you know, Mass Effect 3 oh, yeah. has approximately... This is Fact 3, by the way. Yeah. Has approximately 40,000 lines of dialogue, shit. which is almost... <laughs> Which is Come almost on, as much as the first two games' dialogue combined. It also has 12,500 sound and music effect files. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. That's Bloody a lot funny, of fucking dialogue. See, the weird thing about Mass Effect is that the main character, you, like, you'd be happy Ships. if you... Yeah. You'd be happy if you nailed the main role yeah. in a game, right? Right. But there's a 50% chance you'll be heard. Isn't that mental? Because you can pick Fem Shep or Male Shep. Yeah. So I've never heard... Female Shepherd. Jennifer Hale. Never heard her yeah. in the game. Well, I mean, you've heard her, just not in that game. Ray, shout out from Ray. Met her in real life, though. Oh, yeah? How she was she? very she had nice. She red hair? Yeah, you know. That's her thing. Is All it? her characters have red hair because she has red hair. Oh. Yeah. It's like every character she plays. It's crazy. That's pretty top. Fucking make her red, said what she says. That's it. <clears throat> All right. Pack number four. Thanks, Jeff. In 2010, BioWare's Montreal studio was developing a first-person shooter called Mass Effect Team Assault. What? During development, BioWare decided that they would take what they had created so far and no! use it to develop the multiplayer for Mass Effect 3. Wow. Man, you sound really like you were... Mass Effect 3, Were you I following am, uh... that closely, Gavin? Because it sounds like you were emotionally invested in that story. No, yeah, I mean... It... You were like, no, don't throw that game away. The actual multiplayer is pretty good. Yeah, it was horde, pretty fun. Horde mode, isn't it? But... I, I had a good time. But it's like Mass Effect Horde mode. Yeah. Well, it would be weird if it was Gears of War Horde mode. Yeah, I know. To be honest. In, in space. Well, well it's Gears called, of War is in space. Never mind. It's not called Horde mode, though. It is called Horde mode in Gears of War, isn't it? Yeah, but they kind of set the standard for that kind of gameplay, didn't they? I don't know. Did they? I don't know. Endless All right, waves of enemies. Fact number five. <laughs> Horde mode. Fact number five. At one point during the game, Tally tells Shepard that he sounds like a Vorcha. Mark Mir, the voice actor for the male version of Shepard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gavin, else. Gavin, for the second time today, That's Jeff expensive. had a pen up his butt. Except this time it was from Jeff. The first yeah. one was from me. Yeah. But seriously, Mark Mir, the voice actor for the male version of Shepard, also provides the voice for the Vortcha characters in the game. That's weird. The Vortcha are nasty looking bastards. Yeah, fucking uh, Shepard, he's a good looking dude. Yeah. Uh, except my dude has like red open wounds, open sores, are you and bad? scars. Are you oh, a bad guy? I'm awful. Yeah, I'm punching man, you women. Naughty little bitch. Did your Shepard bang you? Is that what happened? You get some STDs? He, he means Gavin, as in you, <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Dirty, dirty penis. I think that's Mine's it. pretty much it, right? the foreskin. Well, good luck with that one, Franco, and thank you, audience, because you listened to it. 